today. <laughs> dun dun dun. <laughs> News flash. Um, we're going blueberry picking. Ooh, blueberry picking. Mm. Azalea's been strawberry picking, but she hasn't been blueberry picking yet, so it'll be her first time. How many are we gonna get? A big old bucket. Yeah. Can you get a bucket like this? Yeah, it's that. How big? That's like this? No, it's bigger than that. Oh, how would you carry it? <laughs> We're hurrying. We have an appointment set at Herndon Hills Farm, which is about 30 minutes away. And they have scheduled time slots so that you can keep people safe from COVID-19. So we've got a time slot for, I believe, 8.30. I better double check just to make sure. So we gotta rush out the door. Make a PB and J, grab the drone, we're gonna go. Are you ready? I'm Juby and this is Justin, and me our sweet nugget, Azalea. We've been living in our self-converted school bus since 2018, and after a year and a half of building our home, we can finally hit the road. Join us for the ride as we continue our adventures in our big red pepper. We have a photojournalist coming today to document the farm photos so we had to tidy up quite a bit yesterday to get things looking good around here but a little update on the garden this these three are purple coneflower some milkweed it's great for the monarch butterflies our lettuce is really going great hey Zay can you take these to mama ah lion you want me to carry these okay I'll carry these you take those to mama. Go, 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 go. Yay! A friend of ours, Queen Tasha, gave Azalea this beautiful line. She loves it. She goes everywhere with it. Thank you, Tasha. Big tomato. Gosh, I'm so ready for tomatoes. I'm getting impatient. Kale, okra. I've been getting non-stop. Cucumbers have just been great. But you know what's really been ticking me off? It's the Japanese beetles. Tell them about your life. My life is good. We're going blueberry picking. I'm excited. Let's go. Of course, the primary duties of living on a farm are the chickens. Hello. What's shaking? Hi, babies. Hello. Come on now. What did you find, Zay? Hey, I got some. Oh. Yeah, those aren't ready, but this one is. Can I get that one? Hey, you want me to put it in there? There you go. Here you go. <laughs> What's happening? You were eating the harvest. <laughs> nah. Can I put some in your bucket? <laughs> Get it. Hey. <laughs> Cheeky. You're supposed to put it in the bucket. Day. <laughs> Space Cadet. Hey, babe. Hey. 
What are you doing this evening? Getting weird. Weird? No. Getting Our. regular. Yeah. Um, yeah, just regular weird. <laughs> we are coming together here on the farm. We're having some Beyond Meat burgers, you and I. And I guess people are grilling a bit and having a fire a bit, maybe some fireworks and maybe some outdoor movie theater and some music. Gatherings have, beginning, have been beginning to like come back into our lives in a very different way, but it's nice to come together with people. Do you miss people there? I miss people. <laughs> <laughs> I miss real life people. It's not as bad as it was back in like, you know, the beginning of April when people would run away as soon as they saw you, but I miss like social gatherings where you can actually hug each other, you know. Is it beamed to us, and we're sort of like antenna for our consciousness that's beamed from the outside source to us. Food for thought. Food for thought, guys. Officially, we are the Popcorn Blue Band. I wasn't made for work. There's too many things in the world that I like to do. I like to sleep till noon. Ride a horse, sing a tune, watch the birds in the trees, smell the rain, feel the breeze, at the beach, in the sun, drink a beer, have some fun, but I just wasn't made for work. I, I wasn't made for work. There's too many places on earth that I'd rather be. To go for a ride through the countryside, feel a breeze under We just had a wonderful time at the Honeysuckle Tea House. We are blessed that that is located right next door to us. We can literally walk out there any time of day and go and enjoy the beautiful flowers. We can enjoy tea. We can really just, I don't know, it's a great outlet for us when we're starting to lose our minds at the farm. For sure. Yeah. It's, a, it's a place to go to that's like walking distance, so we're super appreciative for them. And I'm not going to lie, in the back of my mind I was a little bit concerned to a, de to, to a degree Were about you? coronavirus. Yeah, but the way that it was set up was really like spaced out and everybody was wearing masks. They took our temperature when we went in and they had like a free ticket available on Eventbrite to be able to keep track of numbers. But the fact that their venue is like primarily based with an outdoor setting, like open air. I'm super worried about it. Yeah, and let's be completely honest how <laughs> that just helps us keep sanity. Yeah, and it was just nice to be outside and listening to music and it wasn't necessarily the best music but it was just nice to have that in the background and have the ambiance of you know music vibes honestly with Summer. corona you can't be picky yeah, and you really the can't. fact that azalea made a friend oh yeah azalea made a friend that was super cute and not to mention we're about to go back home and grill Cook. Can I tell you the last time I grilled? No. Me neither. Well, it's been a long time, so we're gonna go have drinks, turn on some music, we're gonna grill, we're gonna eat some food, maybe turn on a movie, and we'll go from there. Really? <laughs> Mama, look. To watch a short video, you'll receive 30 minutes of really? free music. Look, she's a natural. Clean the great. Thanks, baby. Dude, Azalea is the next Buck Strickland. <laughs> Nice 
stick say, wow. <laughs> She's eating your stick. What are we making? All right, mom is setting up a movie. So Justin really wanted to have movies at the house and so we decided to set up a projector on the side of the bus. Thanks to all our bus adventures and group gatherings, we were inspired to create that for ourselves. And yesterday we christened it with Pulp Fiction, which is friggin' awesome. Hey Rage. Rage girl. You ready to get weird? Yeah, dude, I'm about to light my face up. Go for it. Yes. Sounds good. Thanks, man. Who said sounds for it? Purple rain. Purple rain. How epic with that full moon right there too. Ooh, yeah, purple rain. Mm -hmm. 
Well, it's the morning after a good night and um, Azalea here is having <laughs> some pretzels for breakfast. Classic. I don't know where you found that little sachet of pretzels, but you found it. Justin and Azalea are going to go and take care of the chickens <laughs> and so eventually they'll come over and come and help me work on this oven. Um, but we started it last week and um, we need to start working on it earlier in the day so that the mortar doesn't dry up so quick with the heat of the sun. It's looking really good. So I'm excited to see how it's going to come out as a final like in the round piece of ore. But it'll be fun. We're going to christen it or as I'd like to say, baptize it with uh, an actual pizza. Hallelujah! <laughs> good morning, Ricky. How's your breakfast? Oh, it's delicious. How about yours? Oh, yes, it's very nice. I love these pellets. Now tell me, have you heard about Justin and Jimmy's Patreon page? Ah, uh, my friend, this cousin here told me about them on YouTube. No way! They're great! And if you follow the link below, you can come and join them. Now they got these wonderful gifts first. Gifts first, you get a thank you message. No way! And then second, you get a Polaroid. Wow! And then you also get a postcard. That's it? <laughs> what do you mean that's it? <laughs> Is there nothing else? Yeah, you get a jar of honey! What? That's pretty cool, I think. Maybe. And then last but not least, you get a discount on Moonfire Child. That's where it's at, my friends. Did you hear? <laughs> <laughs> now, all you gotta do is join their Patreon page and help support them and yeah. us this delicious breakfast every morning. Yes, we do. We love to eat the pellets, so please help us out and support them on Patreon. Later, Ricky! Mission 50% accomplished, maybe 40%. Done the back side, this side, and then we still have to do the other side, maybe the front side, and then grab. But what do you guys think? All right, now that that is done for the day, it's too hot to keep doing the mosaic all throughout the day. So I'm gonna go and see what Justin and Azalea are up to. I think they've been cooking some lunch. It's been fun getting out and about and doing things again in the big bad world, being safe but social and I don't know, it's nice. It feels like almost back to normal, you know? The new normal, whatever they're calling it. Anyhow, back to the bus. Hello! Hey you! What are you doing in here? Hi Box! Looks like you're chilling. Yeah. Ooh! Breakfast roll-ups! Looks good! So... We have to wait to take the picture officially for the photo of the cookbook, but we made some breakfast roll-ups. We used two different um, spreads. One was an artichoke pesto and another one was a arugula pesto, I believe. Put spinach and olives inside of the eggs. A little bit of garlic powder, salt and pepper. And then we used whole wheat, flour, and then a chipotle lime tortilla. Uh -oh. Really, really good. What a busy, busy weekend that was. What a fun Sunday. That was a fun weekend. Yeah. It almost felt like normal. It like normal of, life. Almost. Almost. Um, anyways, it's been fun doing like activities out and about and Zaley and I just got back from the store. <laughs> come up here, Nugget. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! We grabbed her some things for dinner and um, yeah, I'm going to cook her some dinner and chill it out tonight. I've got to edit a YouTube video. Wow. <laughs> I want to recap what we did just to bring you up to speed. This has been an intense weekend. I cut down like four trees. You did almost half the mosaic. Mm -hmm. We went and saw music. We had a cookout. We had two movie nights. 
we handpicked a huge bucket of blueberries. Took care of the chickens as per usual. Took care of the garden, harvested like, must have been over 20 pounds of food. I went for a nice long bike ride. I beekeeped like 20 locations this week. Let's job, babe. Yeah. Crushing it. Been busy. So this week's a little bit more chill and we're excited to be whipping up some more recipes. We ate all the egg wraps before we took pictures of them. <laughs> so I have to make them again. Did you get eggs? Yeah, I got eggs. Good. Okay. <laughs> we did. Um, anyhow, yeah, well, we're going to tune out and uh, enjoy the rest of this evening. But there's a couple things that we wanted to fill you guys in on. Oh, yeah. Guess what we got? Some merch. Is that where you were going with that? Yeah. Was that okay. the direction I was supposed to go? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We got merch! So, tell them how that works. I'm not what actually sure, but it's now like it's below our YouTube channel, like below the video or whatever. <laughs> you can find some like red pepper t-shirts and Justin and Judy stickers and like some tote bags. Nothing crazy fancy, super simple, maybe a t-shirt for your babies. Babe, um, come on, you gotta sell it. Sound amped. Tell them how awesome they are. You do it then. Like nothing special. I'm just worried the broccoli is burning. Oh my god. They're super special. They're freaking amazing. They're awesome swag. <laughs> yeah. If you want to rock some Justin and Juby swag, check it out. Hopefully it pops up below. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> and we it also check. helps support us as That's... we continue this lifestyle. So, to all you folks rocking the swag, we know there's some folks out there. We've seen you wearing the t shirts. Yeah. Thank so you. So awesome. Thank you. That's Juby's custom art? Yeah. It's, it's a drawing of the front of my bus. And if there isn't a color t shirt that you like on the like listings below, you can always check out on my website too for like a more diverse range of colors. So, yeah. We love you guys. You guys be good. Have a wonderful week. Mwah. Locust? Locust? Oh, Azalea, can you oh. say thank you? Thank you. Can you oh. say you're welcome? Welcome.